Oh, hello everyone. I hope you're all well. It's Susie here from Esoteric Trading Solutions. Um, I hope you're looking after yourself, being kind to yourself, being kind to your parents, uh, looking after your putty cats, your beautiful animals, uh, just being kind to people in the world just to make this a better place. Um, I hope everyone's safe uh, and well from the coronavirus. Um, just a reminder to people, I have a uh, Patreon. Um, it's $45 US a month and it is seriously, seriously excellent value. I'm not kidding. Uh, you get access to Slack, which is a database of like well over 70 different channels. There's trading channels in there. There's uh, at least 60 different types of cryptocurrencies. We talk about there's you know wallets in there, channels for wallets. There's all sorts of things. I do crypto reviews at least you know three crypto reviews a week uh, there's you know trading ideas there's a whole network of people plus on patreon you get uh, a free course on Udemy which is cryptocurrency what's it all about as well uh, you can ask me to do a review on any different cryptocurrency as well now li lately I've done quite a few reviews which I also put on uh, Flixchimp and there is so much rubbish out there in terms of crypto land and it just seems to me that all the rubbish goes higher and higher and higher and all the uh, all the cryptocurrency with any merit or any any uh, any fundamental merit behind it like uh, XRP seems to go lower and lower and it doesn't make sense to me and one of the one, latest ones I've looked at uh, which is MCO and CRO, CRO MCO which is over five dollars and honestly it's a debit card and seriously it is rubbish uh, absolute rubbish. I looked at that recently and I cannot believe that something like that is over five dollars when it's a debit card. Seriously, there's so many debit cards out there. There's so many non-blockchain and blockchain debit cards and it is absolute garbology and rubbish and there's so many risks in that uh, particular cryptocurrency. It's not funny. Uh, you know, all sorts of risks, hacks, whatever you want to call it. So I just cannot, I still cannot believe that XRP is down here and honestly the cryptocurrency market needs to mature, it needs to wake up to how to value uh, proper businesses with proper cryptocurrency that works, that where the technology works, where they're actually doing the business, where they're actually earning revenue because everything I look at in terms of crypto land where the coin or the token has a high price and I look at all the details of it and I would look at hundreds of different factors uh, most of them, most of them, 95, 99% of them are just garbology, okay? So uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Ripple certainly has the goods and certainly has the, uh, has an XRP certainly has the goods as well. Uh, there are probably a sprinkling of cryptocurrencies out there, maybe uh, 19 to 20 that I've looked at, but I've looked at, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, okay? And uh, certainly the last three crypto reviews I put on Patreon uh, just this week alone, which is garbology, seriously, garbology, what else can I say? But anyway, I thought we'd just have a look at, um, uh, get grab yourself a coffee because this is going to be fairly long today. It's probably going to take 30 minutes or so. So I thought we'd just have a look at where XRP is, where it's been, all that sort of thing. Look at some metrics uh, and also look at all the news uh, from the 14th of March to the, to the 15th of April today. Uh, basically, it's still in this downward trend, which is not a great story. It's under the 200-day moving average, so it needs to to break this downward trend. My trading model is still saying it's a sell, but it does need to break, and that's probably around 19 cents, something like that, at the moment. If we go through, um, people say to me, "Why is it taking so long for XRP to be well known in the world? Why is it taking so long for Ripple?" Let's put this in perspective. More, less than 1% of the world is invested in cryptocurrency and they know about Bitcoin, but they don't know about Ripple and XRP. If we look at the ATMs that are out there in the world, there's only 7,578 for cryptocurrency and mainly 5,377 are in the US, okay? It's 71%. So the rest of the world doesn't even know about cryptocurrency, right? All they know about is Bitcoin, but they certainly don't know about Ripple or XRP, which is best of breed technology in the payment sector. And there are so many different sectors in the crypto uh, currency market, but Ripple and XRP are best of breed in the payment sector, but also they're going to so many other sectors, which we'll see uh, in terms of this video uh, today, okay? And they're doing a lot more in other sectors, which is quite amazing. And they will be, as far as I'm concerned, the number one cryptocurrency coin. I've never changed that. 
I have another course on Udemy, which is a valuation course, a uh, structured uh, valuation course for all different equities, uh, for all different asset classes. And there's six, uh, you know, five to six different asset classes. And I have two valuation models for XRP on there. And with all the, the information that I have and all the stats and everything else, just on a 5% assumption, they fixed a 22, two, sorry, a $220 trillion problem. Their valuation is sky high, okay? So on your demo, you'll have to get access to that course. It's a, a, a terrific course with 83 lectures on there. I'm probably gonna have a special on that course, but um, I've got to think about how I wanna do that. But it's a great course. Uh, it's you know, with, with the coupon at the moment, if you get a coupon, it's on there for 199, but with coupon 160 euro. But um, it's a fantastic course. But anyway, we'll, I'll discuss that at another time as well. But um, so if we look at just the stats on, on XRP, uh, and, I, and, and honestly, they are amazing as far as I'm concerned. You know, the, the deal volume is still very, very high. Uh, you know, yesterday, you know, this was taken today. You know, still doing a lot of a lot of volume, more than any other cryptocurrency out there. Has a lot of interest globally. Has a lot of interest by uh, clients and retail clients, and gets a lot done on the exchanges. Okay, so nothing's really changed there. 100-day moving average is around 20. You know, the 200-day moving average and the 50-day moving average is uh, 19, and the 20 is uh, 18.1833. Uh, if we look at where it's been, it's actually performing better than Bitcoin historically, uh, which is a good story. Uh, it's it's not for it's not you know following exactly what Bitcoin's doing, and I think as time goes on, that correlation will change quite a bit. Okay, uh, it'll quite it'll change more and more in my mind. If you look at uh, just the ledger, they've done well over 54 million ledgers, which is amazing. Okay, and you know they've done you know, millions and millions of transactions, okay, with minimal, minimal fees, right? If we go to the average transaction fee, look at that, it's 0.00044782, right? It's not even, you know, probably three, one, one or two or three cents, right? Now to put this in perspective, if you transferred, you know, I remember, um, what's the guy's name? Um, one of the hedge fund guys, he transferred 50 million uh, 50 million, right? XRP, USD, 50 million, uh, but it was actually USD, 50 million. And it cost him something like 30 cents uh, with uh, with XRP and Ripple. Now, if you did that in terms of the financial markets, it would cost you, because of the volume, it would cost you at least 1%, right? Now that's $50,000 in transaction fees, at least. You know, whereas Ripple, compared to Ripple, uh, as technology, 50,000 versus 30 cents. I mean, amazing. Okay, just amazing. So if you have a look, uh, transaction per second, 2.78. Uh, average transaction, median transaction is, uh, you know, the, that means the frequency is 0 0.000012. The average is 0.0044. I mean, it is, it is just absolutely nothing. Amazing, amazing statistics, seriously. Um, if you go back to you know, just the, the dominance of uh, Bitcoin, still got a dominance of 64.37. We have seen that higher. It got to about 70%, got to 69% when Mark was selling off. You know, Ripple's still around that 1.37. It has, the dominance has improved, but obviously the coin itself is not going up. Now there's a reason for that. Uh, sellers like to short Ripple because it is, you know, XRP because it's a very liquid cryptocurrency. And what I mean by liquid, liquidity, not volume, liquidity and volume are completely different. The bid offer spread on uh, XRP, when you deal with it on the proper US dollar exchanges and not the shadow exchanges, and you might ask me what those are, you need to go and see my courses to understand what I'm talking about. But the bid offer spread with XRP is so tight, you barely pay anything compared to other exchanges and other cryptocurrencies. So it doesn't surprise me, the shorters actively try to short this cryptocurrency because it is so, so liquid. You can get the volume, it's so liquid, it costs you nothing to get in and out in terms of transaction fees. Now to read this, this is off uh, TradingView. The shorters basically at their low was 490,000 of XRP. Now they're way up to you know millions up here, 13 odd million I think that is. So again, they're getting higher and higher on, on the short positions, okay? 
which is probably you know which is basically influencing the price of XRP down okay <coughs> excuse me so if we look at this one and this is from uh, this is more stats from Mazari uh, io mazari.io i pay for this this is a paid subscription which i pay for every month i don't get it for nothing i get nothing for nothing i've always had that integrity as you know um all-time high for for, for uh, xrp and i like to go back on these just to have a look was 384 that date was 1 4 2008 uh time from the all-time high 831 days which is a long time uh, over two years it's down 95 percent from its all-time high and yet the fundamentals are better than any 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 time ever right they're better than when they were now i mean make sense of this stupid stupid cryptocurrency market the players in this market are just seriously have no idea i have to say this is like buying the worst you know this is like buying in the say in the equity market the worst stock ever that has the massive amount of debt and taking it up to you know up to the moon and then anything else that's got any proper uh, valuation like Google or anything else having it at you know two cents or something seriously that's how silly this cryptocurrency market is seriously um, now if we uh, also look at the other stats just over time period um, against US dollar just uh, we'll look at the 30 day okay against the US dollar it's done well 32 percent uh, if we look at uh, against Bitcoin over a 90 day period, it's done well at 3.4%. Um, but over a year, it's still down five, five, negative five, six point five seven, which means that Bitcoin's actually performed over a year better than uh, XRP. But over a 90 day period, XRP has actually performed better, right? So I do like looking at stats. I love stats, okay? So if we look at uh, rate of return or rate of investment by year, you know, 2019, 48% uh, was lost by the investor. 2018, 82%. 2017 was a big year for XRP. It was up 31%. And that's amazing. When you compare that to, you know, the equity market, which on average is up about 12% on average every year, for something for uh, an asset that you're invested in to be up 31 percent or more is absolutely incredible right put this in perspective 31 percent is huge no other asset class is going to return anything like that okay any of the fiat asset classes or the traditional asset classes uh, it's seriously seriously big if you look at the volatility the volatility is still very low okay it's actually coming off from 1.28 very low volatility in the last year or so and the sharp ratio for the last 30 days, which is return risk measure, which is also uh, volatility is included, and that is quite high. And that's that's a good story because you want the sharp ratio to be high. So in other words, the level of return you're getting, you want for the level of return uh, for the risk you're taking, you want the return to be high. Okay, that sharp ratio, the higher the better, and you want it high, which is great. So if we look at um, you know the developer activity, you know they're doing enormous amounts of things in terms of their github everyone should look at github now i know a lot of people have no idea out there about github but it's about what the developers and what the technicians you know what the the developers do you know in the system right in in the blockchain or in the network if they're not doing anything they're not updating the network from anything right and so many coins and tokens i look at when i do a crypto uh, research review they don't do anything in terms of their their technical system or their technology or the network right there's nothing they do so in other words they're not updating the technology if you don't update the technology right a malicious attack could ha uh, could happen and all those coins could be lost right everything the coins the tokens whatever on you know on the ledger or on the blockchain now you might think oh wow i'm really safe because i hold my coins in cold wallet but the thing is if the underlying technology can be hacked right the underlying technology can be hacked everyone runs the risk of losing their coins you know look at maker deo right mako deo they actually got in there and hacked the underlying technology and literally could have literally got away with 95 percent of those coins right so it's so so important and that's why i'm saying you know everyone needs to do a proper crypto review of the investments they're holding because if the technology doesn't work anyone can get in there a bad hacker rewrite the protocol right you know whether it's with JavaScript or whatever 
and basically send those coins or tokens to their own address very very easy for them to do that it's not difficult right it's not difficult so you know the fact that you know uh, ripple do so much activity in terms of their technology it tells me that it's still best of breed best of breed technology right and that's something that's so important and that's something this stupid stupid crypto market doesn't even look at you know it's just negativity about you know uh, ripple xrp but you know there are so many coins out there i'd say hundreds and hundreds thousands that are just garbology and i'll say it again garbology absolute garbology but you see them in the crypto market with a valuation to the moon and you just go what you know wtf okay wtf that's all i can say right you know it just outstands me outstands me and then there's some more stats from uh, mazari.io and it just gives you the same sort of story that you know it, it's just crazy crazy where xrp is uh, given to anything else right and even tether you know tether you know i know so much about this market tether i've got news for you with tether you know it, it shouldn't even be one for one with the us dollar you know if you look at tether that's being issued it only 77 percent of real us dollars tether has backed against it so in other words tether us dollar t which is man which is made and released from tether the company only has a us dollar backing of 77 percent so tether usdt should only be worth 77 cents not a dollar right again there's so many things i could tell you that you guys have no clue about and seriously it's just beware you know this market is full of full of traps it's the hardest more, most complicated market of all the markets put together and add on another million a million percent okay it's just incredible you know ethereum bitcoin i could go on and on right so this is their funding and we know about their funding and all the capital they raise which is a great story uh you know we know that the ripple sales are down over the quarter you know the institutional sales which we know about uh and now getting to uh, the news over the month um Accenture, you know has uh, around 200 clients right and they pay Accenture at least a hundred million each a year for their technology to be humming okay now Accenture is a client of ripples right now think about it Accenture have a hundred 200 clients a year and they pay them a hundred million and this is from a bona fide resource the economist right they're a consulting company and they use ripple right so if a company like this that's a consulting company that uses ripple you know ripple cannot be a scam right for all those idiots out there uh yes i'm i'm, I'm aggressive today because it just annoys me too much but anyway um so accenture is amazing it's an amazing com uh, company and it uses ripple ripples you know you know ripple has them as a client okay and look their technology cost these clients a hundred million dollars right ripple also is a technology company what do you think their revenue is that they earn their revenue would be unbelievable okay and getting more and more every month so let's go into the news and there's a lot of news and i've already gone on too long and i'm only up to point two you know ripple's doing a lot in thailand at the moment they put on a new company called d money a fintech company and you know this company has millions of clients okay millions of clients that are going to use their you know their technology and they're going to use uh ripple net and you know they have payment corridors remittance corridors in south korea indonesia singapore israel the middle east okay uh they want exactly they want services to be instant right it's a big company with millions and millions of clients right uh, you know again one million here but you know obviously they have a lot of clients right and those clients will become uh, ripples clients right so it's big business in Thailand for ripple with a million clients one client equals a million clients okay now also I didn't even know that Randy I know I'm pretty naive here sometimes <laughs> but I didn't even know that Randy Zuckerberg was Mark Zuckerberg's um, sister and she was in that um, show 
what's that really well known show you're probably going to tell me um oh it was a really well known one but apparently uh she was in that and you know i think i used to watch it i forgot what it's called but it was very well known um and you know even she knows about literally ripple right and is very very bullish ripple um seriously that show with the dinosaurs i can't remember what it was called but you you guys probably know what it was called so you know this this company and you know xrp is so well known and it's getting more and more well known right again ripple are doing more things in korea and certainly in asia and they're adding all the time all the time uh you know even with their uh you know their their partnership with moneygram you know moneygram uh you know is getting more and more income because of ripple's partnership right now ripple uh powered labs have also created this uh this uh, app called Zoom, which is, um, you know, Vita, Vita, Vita Vin's uh, app, Zoom. And I, I've met Vitsa Vin, he's a lovely guy. He lives in Holland and he's a really nice guy. Lovely guy to meet, very nice man. So um, also Ripple uh, is, ha has partnered with Forte and these guys are doing heaps in the gaming area. So <clears throat> not only is Ripple in, you know, the D apps these days, but they're in gaming as well. I mean, these guys have also got a platform. Don't forget, Sologenic uses their platform. So Ripple could compete with all the other platforms out there, like EOS, which, you know, is a platform, but I don't like it. You know, it's over $2, right? Why should it be over $2? You know, NEO, why should that be the price where it is? There's so many of these coins that, you know, I, I just don't like them. That's a fact, you know, and if you do your homework, you'll realize why I don't. Um, again, Ripple's going into, you know, the gaming side of thing, you know, a, a apps, uh, they've got a platform. Again, um, you know, there's just amazing things going on uh, with Ripple and XRP. Now, you know, this fake, fake Chrome extension where XRP was stolen had nothing to do with Ripple's technology. But this is what I'm saying. You have to be so careful. Even if you use Chrome, you could lose your XRP, right? So there are so many things uh, for, the, for the person that doesn't understand or know the risks uh, where you can lose your cryptocurrency so easily, okay? Never alone the market going down. If you don't know your education, you don't know your facts, you run the risk of losing any more, more money, okay? Um, not only that, you know, last year and i probably mentioned this before google said that most people in america were actually looking how to buy ripple xrp than than uh, bitcoin which is really interesting okay also we know that ripple's doing a lot in spain and they're doing a lot with santander who's a huge company over there in spain and you know now they've got this new client called OnePay fx right um and you know these clients are huge and you know what, every time I do a YouTube, my phone goes, it's incredible. Sorry about that, that was my um, brother and sister-in-law. So uh, every time I do a YouTube, uh, the phone goes. But, um, and for those that, um, you know, will, you know, sent, um, you know, nice uh, thoughts through my brother, thank you very much, I really appreciate that. And uh, had, a, had a prayer, because he, he's a lot better than what he was. Thank you so much. So just uh, going on, uh, what else do we have here? So I mentioned the Spanish banks and obviously this partnership with D-Money uh, and it's a very big partnership, which is which is seriously fantastic. So also Zoom, uh, it's an app and uh, it's apparently so that uh, one can access the XRP ledger. Zoom makes sending, receiving and interacting with the XRP ledger easy and secure, which is fantastic. And that's being uh, done by Vince Vind, who's a lovely guy. Uh, it's peer-to-peer -peer payments, retail payments initiated by a retailer e-payments uh, payments wallet for the XRP multi-currency. Uh, and as it's been said, it's safe and user-friendly, <clears throat> integrated with third-party uh, XRP L ledger apps um, like multi-signy training and user identification. So um, he said it's the beat has been launched and it's on Google Play and iOS, Apple Store. I haven't uh, check this yet, but uh, I do want to check this absolutely. So um, just looking at the next lot of you news, uh, pull myself down there. Uh, also, Ripple, one of their uh, developers, uh, cryptographer and software developer engineer Nick Bolagas, was talking about uh, potentially uh, 
changing the GitHub and talking about uh, actually issuing some GitHub and talking about uh, potentially uh, enabling uh, privacy uh, within uh, within the XRP so or an, a single account. So changing the source and the destination tags to facilitate a transaction, but but also uh, basically uh, doing some changes with the Java system because they use uh, C. Uh, big C tr double plus uh, for privacy of uh, of the coin. So I think that's really interesting because if they did that, uh, essentially to make it more private, maybe they'd be uh, also in competition with privacy coins and a lot of privacy coins out there. So uh, he said that the post explained on this, the same by setting that for users to receive blinded tags transactions. So blinded tags transactions, individual accounts would need to opt into the feature set. This list of instructions is highlighted below. So you'd actually instruct it where you, where you can actually go blind and people don't know uh, where, where the, what the tag is and that sort of thing. So I don't know exactly how that's going to work but it's still a very interesting idea and interesting concept. So also Ripple uh, partner with Azimo uh, and Azimo uh, basically is also in Thailand and it's another account there they're doing a lot in, in Thailand. Now Thailand uh, global uh, remittance is huge according to the World Bank it's something like 6.7 billion a year and there's a lot of tides that live overseas as well so there's a lot of money toing and froing uh, from overseas and the remittance market is very very big so if you if uh, you know Ripple itself is in all the biggest remittance markets in the world and obviously the highest one is in internet India which is I think about 80 billion off memory and uh, obviously Mexico which is about 40 billion so Ripple are where they need to be uh, from a business strategic point of view uh, and they're really focusing on obviously in Asia Thailand and Japan uh, and doing a lot there also don't forget they're in China as well uh, with Liu Liu as a client too so uh, another thing too uh, on the CoinDesk, uh, CoinDesk uh, story, basically the digital custody uh, custodian anchorage has added XRP for storage and it came from their institutional clients who basically are very aware of uh, XRP and uh, wanted uh, you know, a custody for XRP as well and it's some of the huge institutional clients which can include hedge funds, family offices that have a lot of money, it's private wealth where they have hundreds of millions of dollars and venture chain capital funds and the like. So that's a great story in itself. Uh, also, uh, XRP is always building. There was more and more recorded accounts in the, in the month of March. So they have a lot of holders. Uh, the last figures I, I looked at, there was literally about one point, over 1.7 million in terms of holders. And that's probably bigger than any other cryptocurrency out there. Okay, and they do. They have diversity in their client base, which isn't, which is fantastic. And you need diversity in your client base. You don't want big whales being in a coin or a token, where they can influence the price one way or the other. Okay, so XRP is doing a lot. Okay, and they're doing more and more than anyone else. There's no doubt about it. The liquidity index uh, for the Philippines is is moving up, and it's you know it's it's increasing over time. And we see that with a lot of their distribution channels. Okay. So that's a great story in itself. Um, this Andres and Horowitz backed custodian firm uh, Anchorage obviously supports XRP. Now, you know, these guys, Andrea Horowitz, it's, uh, it's a business, they really know what they're doing. So certainly XRP is on the radar with absolute professional investors, there's no doubt about it. Uh, also, Australian National University is going to be, which is a big university here in, in, uh, in New South Wales, is going to be. Uh, I'm in Victoria, but this is New South Wales, is going to be offering a blockchain course and it's going to be supported with Ripple's University Blockchain Research Initiative, which is great. Uh, and um, the, as I said before, there was some uh, Mozilla extends Ripple's co coil support to launch new platform in Firefox reality. Okay, going forward, uh, there's a story here about the US Navy. Um, President of Solari Income claims that she has access to data about the new US Navy hiring a tech firm to create implantable microchips that would be compatible with Ripple. This is a very interesting interview actually. Uh, an interview Catherine Austin Fitz stated that a year ago the US Navy hired a Danish tech company to develop an implantable microchip and make it compatible with the Ripple blockchain. That's very interesting. I don't know what they would be doing there. Uh, something about an a chip that can be implanted in a human body that would integrate with Ripple. Wow, that's a, a scary thought when you think about it. 
very scary in, in, in itself. Uh, another story here, number 27, uh, it has been recorded that a huge amount of XRP had been moved through an XRP ledger uh, at literally hardly any cost at all, okay, so 1,000 drops, or, which is bugger all, when you look at it, 0.001 XRP, my God, uh, you know, what, two, one cent or two cents, you know, amazing. So it's costing you nothing to move these big lines, you know, millions and millions of lines through the XRP ledger. The costs are, are absolutely, literally nothing. Um, also, there's talk about Bank America. Now, I heard this story probably about three or four years ago. Uh, I've always had the view that Bank of America would probably one day use Ripple. Um, I did hear this story a long time ago, and um, there is some story that, that it will potentially happen. Uh, in, an, in an interview discussing emerging digital payment technology, a lead executive at Bank America praised Ripple as a partner. She noted that Ripple's passage of the bank's compliance process and praised its ability to deliver quality services, okay? Uh, so, you know, also Ripple confirmed they've been working with the bank since 2016. So, yeah, that's probably when I heard it. Um, you know, Ripple have been working with a lot of banks, okay? You know, and they're still working with a lot of banks, you know, and they work with all the banks here in Australia. And it's it's well known, okay. And certainly the price uh, and and XRP, the price should reflect that, okay. Uh, so honestly, uh, amazing, just amazing. So we go to the next one. Uh, Monetary Authority of Singapore grants an exemption to Ripple Singapore and Bernard's Asia to provide payment services in the country. Now that's really interesting, because Singapore, I know Singapore well. I used to work there. is a very very wealthy country has a lot of uh, multi, multi millionaires over there, has a lot of people with incredible wealth, and that's very interesting that they've allowed an exemption to both these country, uh, companies to work in Singapore, okay? Very, very interesting indeed. Um, and also, it looks like some money uh, has gone to the ex-co-founder, uh, Jack McCallum, uh, 63 million or so, uh, and obviously people, you know, Jack McCallum, you know, I've done a couple of YouTubes on this. He had did have lock up, and I think the last lock up was about 2025, which means he had only get rid of so many coins until 2025. Uh, you know, there's a, an agreement to when he can actually flick those coins out. Okay, so uh, you know, be aware of that. Now, this is a really good resource, guys. This is a full list of Ripple's customers. Okay, uh, obviously updated on that date, but have a look at that. It's an excellent, excellent resource. They have a lot of customers that are paying customers okay and that that is sensational right so you know ripple are obviously you know getting into the gaming industry which means they could be in you know competition with all the gaming coins out there and um also black rocks uh I'm, i want to mention this uh is a huge huge fund manager investment manager they're the largest fund manager in the US with 7.4 trillion under management yes trillion 7.4 and they're now starting to focus on alternative investments, which also includes cryptocurrency. So keep an eye out for those guys. Now, Fidelity, which is another fund manager, has been in the cryptocurrency space for at least five years. Uh, and basically those, you know, Fidelity, I mentioned Fidelity as well. They've got two and a half trillion. But, you know, if BlackRock get in there, that could, you know, could you imagine if they buy crypto, what sort of percentage, you know, how much, what sort of volume they'd buy? I mean, literally, with 7.4 trillion under management, even if they bought 1%, you know, we're talking, you know, billions, right? Billions, uh, which is, you know, literally, you know, more than the crypto market itself, literally. Um, also BitMEX, which is a very well known um, European exchange, and a very one and a very old one, uh, has rolled out its first XRP perpetual swap contract, uh, opening up XRP to one of the most liquid exchanges in crypto. So. That's very interesting in itself. Perpetual means that it doesn't have any uh, closing date uh, and it just keeps rolling. So I'll have to check that out as well. Very interesting. Uh, if we look at the next one, uh, there's a story here about uh, Ripple's technology and Westpac have been trialing Ripple's technology. Now, you know, I mentioned this a long time ago. I know for a fact, you know, because I know people at, uh, at uh, CBA particularly that, you know, CBA have been trialing uh, Ripple's technology with XRP uh, internally for five years that I know, since 2015, right? 
CBA, you know, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, it's not owned by the, the government anymore. It's privatised. It's on the Australian Stock Exchange. Is one of the biggest banks in Australia and the biggest players in foreign exchange. Huge, okay? And they have a lot of offices globally and I know they've been uh, using XRP to shift, uh, you know, to shift uh, and do payments and receipts using Ripple's uh, technology as well as XRP, okay? Now, I know Westpac have been looking at them and uh, certainly ANZ and even NAB, okay? So that is a big story. Uh, it's It's been around for a long time, but I want you guys to be aware of that, that they have been looking at this for a long time. And I think uh, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, CBA, will be the first to switch on the switch and to basically use Ripple, RippleNet and use XRP, okay? And it's going to be a big, big cost saving to CBA, absolutely. And it would make them very aggressive in getting all the other clients from all the other banks because their cost savings are going to reduce, their costs are going to reduce by 70 cents in the dollar, which is like giving them back 70 cents in PL, okay? If you have a look at this uh, story from Medium, it talks about XRP will be a world currency. Now, I believe that. To me, it's just a given. They will be. No other cryptocurrency technology has the technology that that uh, Ripple has, and uh, XRP is a liquidity tool. More liquid, more liquid than foreign currency, okay? More liquid than foreign currency. More liquid than even the US dollar, okay? That's a fact. So if we go to 39, um, the independent uh, republic.com said, could Trump hold, hold the key XRP uh, future fortunes, Ripple's ex executives say possible, okay? Certainly, uh, President Trump is aware of Ripple and XRP, and it's just going to make it a very, very interesting story going forward. If we look at number 40, Japanese uh, Post Bank is a member of the SRB Banking Consortium. Earthport has a payment network of over 67, 67 countries and enables some of the world's largest financial institutions to similarly manage payments across the world. Earth puts on a deal with Japan Post Bank to deliver cross-border payments. Now, this is big because Ripple is, is um, you know, has them as clients. And, you know, Japan is a huge, huge market for XRP and Ripple, right? You know that with SBI. But to put in perspective, Japan Post Bank is, has assets of 2.4 trillion, as big as uh, literally uh, Fidelity, Fidelity, right? It's a huge organization with over 256,000 employees, right? So this is huge, right? They were privatized in 2007. And this is a huge client of Ripple's, okay? Huge. And again, you know, 80 or more banks uh, in, in uh, Japan, as you know, you know, are going to use Ripple and they will use XRP, okay? So it's a fantastic story, right? Fantastic story. And the price of XRP should not be at 18 cents, and I'll continue to say this. Anyone that says it should be at zero or lower, are just they just don't know, you know, they have no idea, they're not doing their homework, they don't understand fundamental value, and they don't understand valuations, right? Absolutely not. Anyway, guys, that's enough of me for the day. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, please check out my Patreon. It is excellent, excellent value. I've got a lot of members on there now. Uh, you're not going to get it for 45 US again uh, in a month. That is like a steal for what you get. It's so cheap and $45 a month is going to save you serious, serious money and educate you properly and put you in coins and tokens that are going to last the distance and that are going to go up. Seriously. Absolutely. So, Anyway, I'll end it there. Thank you very much for listening, guys and girls. Please hit the subscribe and the bell button. You know, I'm getting into this now, all this marketing media stuff, the subscribe and the, and the bell button. Uh, I'll be producing some other things as well. And uh, please do look after yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to your family and friends. Please do be kind to your beautiful animals, your beautiful pointy cats. Please don't dump those animals. Um, I love animals more than people. You know that. Uh, and please just be kind to people in the world just to make this a better world. Thanks guys for listening and I look forward to talking to you another time. Thank you.